Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about tutorials. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do you have any any advice for getting to the point where I no longer rely on using courses and tutorials to learn and instead use documentation? Maybe I'm wrong, but I get the impression that senior engineers have the ability to quickly read documentation for new tools and instantly be able to work with them. Yes, you are correct. That is what senior software developers do. It's actually funny because there, um, I spoke to a publicist for... I can't remember the company name now, but it's one of those big IT publicist companies. And they explained that the trend that they have seen in their sales figures, or like the way people consume things, is that in the early days, a, a junior developers tend to favor video tutorials over reading materials, like reading books and so forth. Whereas seniors are more inclined to read articles or read books or so forth to do their learning. And uh, I wasn't surprised that that was the case. And hopefully after I explain well, at least what my thoughts on this are, you will understand why. So the way for you to solve this problem is to simply continue working. And why is that? Well, because you will continue your learning until you are so experienced in software development that it's actually going to get hard for you to find any tutorials worth your time. They're just going to be repetitions of what you already know. And that's the thing. That's the difference between a senior and a junior. The senior comes armed with prior experience. The junior does not. And if you think about that, if you have prior experiences, do you really need someone to go through the basics with you? I just think about it. Do you if you go to I don't know if you go on vacation, do you need someone to teach you how to flush the toilet? Even if it's not the same one you have at home? No. You kind of know how you're going to figure it out. In a, it's going to be faster for you to just figure it out than it is for you to get some poor person to help you figure that out, figure it out right. And that's kind of the thing. After a few years of you developing your skills, you will start to get a sixth sense for how things work. Because you've been working with things that are similar for so long that you kind of just know things ahead of time. You don't need someone to show you the basics. And that's when the docs become more effective. Because you simply will get to the answers that you're looking for quicker. Because like the tutorial is just going to waste your time. There might be a few things in there that is relevant. But the time it's going to take you to go through the, in the tutorial is going to be longer than it is to just go and look the thing up. So it really comes down to experience. So what I like to say is that you should think of learning things as a means to understanding. What does that mean? Well, at first, usually, when you're trying to learn something, you need a slower pace. And the reason is, as I said, you're, you're coming without prior knowledge. And so that's when tutorials are probably the better option because they're going to, that's the pace that makes sense for you at that time it's similar to being in shape when you start jogging you can't start sprinting all the time because you're going to burn yourself out it's not going to be effective for you you have to start at a slower pace and then when you get to a certain level of fitness you will be able to increase that pace and the better you get the faster you're going to be able to move it's the same thing with learning and the more experience you get like the the goal becomes that it becomes uh, to get uh, to get to answers as quickly as possible and if you think about it that is what the tutorial is there to give you when you have no prior experience you're still trying to do the same thing as somebody who has a lot of experience you're trying to um, to make yourself understand the concepts in the thing that you are studying right it's just that in the beginning it needs to take more time because there's more for you to consume and when you have that down you're going to get to your answers quicker and then when you're at that level it's really just a game of how can I get to understand how these things work as quickly as possible and the more stuff you already know the fewer blanks you're going to have to fill in and at the master level well 
then it's going to be practically impossible for you to find a tutorial that's going to show you a new th anything that is new. Like you, it's 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 not going to be valuable to you because you simply have no blanks to fill in anymore in this concept. And then try to remember that there was a time when you actually had to watch all these tutorials to get to the experience level that you are at uh, right now. So what I want you to take away from this is basically that for you to get to a point where you don't need tutorials anymore and you can just use the docs it's really down to just watch tutorials and practice until you feel that the tutorials are just yeah they're boring they're just showing you things that you already know when you're at that level the best thing for best thing to do is to just continue hands-on experience, learning by doing, etc, etc, and then use the documentation to fill in the blanks. And the reason why this, I, I think that this is a very, nat a very natural progression, because in the beginning you know nothing, so you need to take things slower to understand how things work. And the more stuff you understand, the faster you're going to be able to move. You're going to be able to skim things faster because some stuff is just repetition of what you already know. And then you can quickly, uh, very quickly fill in the blanks for yourself. And you are going to repeat that until you have no blanks left. That's usually the way it goes. Have a great day.